this video, I'm going to talk about the five things that you really need college for these days. And on top of that, why college still may be useful, but also what other options you have if you don't go to a four-year university. When I'm referring to college in this video, I'm referring to a four-year ABET accredited university here in the United States. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lisa. I used to be an engineer and now I'm a full-time YouTuber. As well as someone who's trying to figure out how to start more businesses and make more money just like the rest of us. I wish I had known more about college in the United States before I came here from South Africa. Give you some background context. I grew up in a very, very hardworking immigrant family, whereby if you have Asian parents, you'll understand my parents really wanted me to go get a stable job and not have to work as hard as they did in a new country and start their own businesses as well as depend on other people. I'm from South Africa, and so my parents pushed me to come to the United States. As well as my own desire, really. Because the U.S. universities are advertised to be some of the best in the world, and college degrees in the United States is recognized globally. And so young, naive little Lisa flew across the continent from Africa to the United States, and I came here about eight years ago, starting my undergraduate in engineering school and per going on towards a master's degree. I had to convince myself along the way that college was worthwhile. There's this hype that university is not only a requirement, but it's a necessity. Almost if you graduate high school and you don't go on to pursue university, you're seen as someone who's not exactly a winner, but more of a loser. You're seen as someone who's going to probably one day live in your parents' basement or move to an area where there's no good career and you're not going to have a stable income and a stable salary one day. Then I got to know some very, very smart, talented people. And ironically, the smartest people I met are the very ones who dropped out of university that first year. I did not have the luxury to drop out of university because I was not an American citizen and so to maintain a visa status, I had to keep doing engineering school. There was also a hype at the time about research and so I went on to do air pollution research to just figure out what in the hype it is. I got my master's luckily paid for, otherwise I would be in a lot of debt right now. And I conducted research prep for about two years before I decided that this is not for me. I wish I had known some of these things about college. College is not going to teach you a lot about what you really need in the real world. And through the eight years I've been in America, there are observations I have made to conclude to five careers you need college for. Outside of these five career choices, you really don't need college. You can start a business from scratch or go ahead and work at a trade job or go ahead and do sales. And you really don't need college. You just have to know the right people and have the right skill sets through experience or medicine. If you want to become a doctor, a nurse, a psychologist, psychiatrist, or you want to pursue some kind of public health, probably being a virologist, some kind of education with regards to what you're going to do for patients and how you're going to serve the people is very, very required. Two, I would call engineering and R&D. If you're not familiar with the term R&D, it stands for research and development. I group all science fields in that group. So if you want to pursue um, going into quantum physics, for example, and do research there or development, or if you want to go into looking at marine biology and, you know, go and save the earth with environmental science, or if you just want to do engineering, that is grouped together. Typically, you're going to find companies and institutions, especially public institutions that require a lot of research, really wanting to look at your resume to see if you have a good college degree. And often a bachelor's is not enough. You need a bachelor's plus a master's and a PhD. That's very, very desirable. In the computer science field, this may be changing up a little bit. So professionals who are in the comp sci field, especially in software engineering, developing, front end, back end coding, et cetera, they look at what you have experience in. So if you start coding at age 13 and started building this huge resume on coding, you could get away with no degree because you're already a genius and you probably know more than the average student sitting in a classroom at Harvard University. Three is law. So yes, if you want to go into any field of law, if you want to be an attorney, pop pass the bar exam, typically if you want to work for a corporation or even a small law firm, they're going to look at your degree. I learned this only recently, but it turns out you don't really need a quote unquote degree to go ahead and take the bar exam and pass it. But if you wanna work for a big corporation like Big Law, for example, they're gonna to have to look at your college degree. And 
more often with law, you have to get an undergraduate because law in the United States, and I did not know this, is a graduate degree or postgraduate if you come from a more British background. I know it's called specialty finances. And this is not starting a business. This is if you want to go into accounting or if you want to pursue advanced mathematics and go and work at an insurance company, whatnot, or if you want to just become a finance guru, if you want to work trading, investing. Honestly, trading, investing, you don't need college for, but if you want to work for corporation specialty finances, chances are they're going to look at your undergraduate degree. If you want to specialize in taxes or do something very specific, they might even make you go get a master's in um, an MBA, a master's in business administration, or another specialty finance master's field. And the last one, which is very near and dear to my heart, because man, I don't, I don't know how in the world teachers are so undervalued, but so, 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 so important in our society, and that is teaching. If you want to teach at any level in the United States, you have to go and get a good accredited degree to show that you can teach. For example, if you want to teach mathematics and you don't have any training in mathematics, that's not going to work out, right? I was in the engineering and R&D sector. I worked in renewable energy, first air pollution research, then renewable energy. And so what I wanted to do at the time did require college. College is not for everyone, so don't feel bad if you don't go into college. There are definitely other alternatives. If you are someone who is an aspiring dancer, painter, musician, whatnot, instead of going to a four-year university, consider getting yourself a mentor, going to a studio, learning at a studio, taking classes, or talking to people to figure out how you can break into the industry of art without having to go to a four-year institution. Another one is trade school. My friend Gabrielle in this interview had mentioned that if you have no idea what you want to do, going to trade school is a good route or community college for that matter. You can get a lot of licenses to be a qualified blue collar worker, such as an electrician, a plumber, a realtor, and be in trade school. You can even do sales. And most importantly, talk to people. There's going to be people who are going to tell you that college is very important and people who are successful starting businesses, doing entrepreneurships, who's going to tell you that college is not really worthwhile. I've met many, many smart people and the smartest people are some ones who have never gone to college before. And that's great because they are learning from real world experiences. Here I want to tell you that if you are someone who are just looking towards college as more money in future, that's not necessarily the truth. Going to college does not equate to more money. In fact, going to college is going to teach you some lessons that are going to be helpful, but if you're someone who really just wants to make money in future, make connections and talk to people, become a salesman, entrepreneur, startup, and there's so many things you can do these days with business before going to college. I do want to credit that there are some things I do think college for. I've met some of the best friends that I have now, and I hope I can stay with them for a very long time through college. I learned how to think and analyze, and even disagree, but disagree on a very well term. You're not going to agree with all the opinions you receive at college. You're not going to agree politically, you're not going to agree financially, you're not going to agree with a lot of things, but you're going to learn how to do research to justify and back up your opinion. College is going to help you learn how to refine research and present the facts in a very, very argumentative, but also presentable way. You're also going to be learning some good skills that you never learned, otherwise you'd stay at home. I know many of my friends, after moving away from home, going to college, they discovered their passion for cooking because they were never given opportunities to explore at home because mom's cooking was too good. So in college, they finally started exploring and they now fell in love with cooking. And lastly, college nurtured personally my love for coffee and it could nurture a coffee beast in you. If you're concerned about money and inflation and not too sure what you do with your life yet, I would highly ask you to consider before going to college to think about it, get a mentor, sit down, ponder, and maybe take some time off before going to college.